coming against the tape. I wanna forget you. Here's the end result. It's basically a flow tester. If your parts don't fit when you're printing something, like moving parts, like for example a steam engine or something, um, you adjust your flow rate until two parts fit together. And you uh, you also adjust your horizontal expansion to get this to fit correctly, see? Fit focus. Come on. Your knife on, you can focus. There we go. Okay. I need to adjust a little bit because it's supposed to be a press fit. But anyway, I can never get my bottom layer to print. That's how the bottom layer turns out. No matter what kind of glue I use, how, you know, how level the bed is, or how close the nozzle is to the bed, I change everything and I can never get the bottom layer to stick right. You know, and this print took me like four tries because of that. You know, I do brims, I do skirts, I do everything to try to get that filament flowing. You know, to get a good bottom layer, but it never works. Even with a 110% flow rate, I can never, I can never, ever get a good first layer. It either sticks, but lifts, and then I have a warped print, or it don't print the first layer correctly, and later in the print, it'll break off, and I have to start all over again. Anyway, <laughs> I just had to get my frustration out right there. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Oh, and just to let you know, this is a Prusia i3 clone. Come on, focus. Piece of... Alright, yeah. A Prusia i3 clone. Sitting on top of a Coca-Cola refrigerator. I'll do a review on that too. But, uh, yeah, Persia i3 clone, not the best printer, not the worst, maybe it is the worst, I don't know. Oh, Lord.